Hello, welcome back to day six, wait, day six, I think, actually wait, day six or seven, I don't know, but, um, the caterpillars are doing good, none of them died yet, um, I wanted to show you some eggs that I got from this girl right here. She's dead. They usually die after they lay. She was pretty old in the first place. Her wings are, were always kind of tattered up. But she laid a lot of eggs. Here are the eggs right here. They're green. And they're smaller than the poplar sphinx eggs. I also got some of those too. You can see them in there. They're much bigger than those. And they're a different color. But yeah, I got a bunch of eggs. Maybe you guys can pause that and count. I might count that later, I don't know. But yeah, those are all the eggs. Um, so let's close this up. So yeah, I got eggs from Five Spot Hawk Moth. This is a Five Spot Hawk Moth. This is not the Carolina Sphinx. That's a different one. The Carolina Sphinx are more common. Um, I want to raise those too, but I, I really wanted to raise one of these. And now I will. They feed on the same plants, which are the Nightshade family, which is um, Datura's, uh, tomatoes, potatoes, tobacco, and... A couple other, other other things. Um, I got other moths here that I got a few nights ago. This is the poplar sphinx. That's what those caterpillars are gonna turn into. Um, let's go in my room and show you the caterpillars because they're doing really good. Here's that female poplar sphinx that laid all my eggs. Oh, look, she laid another egg right there. Huh. I guess she's not done laying yet. Um, oh, also, the poplar sphinx eggs, I'm not gonna take care of them. When they hatch, I'm gonna actually put them on my, my willow tree, and they can, they can live out their lives in the wild on there, maybe. Um, so that'll be cool. There's not enough to like completely decimate the tree though, which is good. So let's open this and take a look at my little caterpillars. Um, here's one of the pre-pupil caterpillars. Like there. They're doing good and then the other one is back here. See that? He's gonna pupate soon, very soon. I might film the 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 molting process of that one. The big green one's doing good. They're cute. They feel really nice. They have a nice texture to them. They're really fun to pet. And then here is another one. And another one. So yeah, those are doing good. Um, here are the poplar sphinx caterpillars. They are doing good. They are growing rapidly. Oh, the leaf fell off. That's not good. So yeah, they're they're doing good. All of them are doing good. Uh, what else? Um, yeah, that's about it. Oh wait, yeah, the inchworms. All the inchworms. So there's still three left in here. They're doing good. This one's almost. This one's a pre-pupil caterpillar. I have four other pre-pupil caterpillars in here, and then one chrysalis. 
You can see the chrysalis there. And then there's that other one. There's another. Oh, yeah, right here. And there. This phone really sucks. That It's not out of focus. It's just really blurry. It's a blurry camera. camera. It's a prepaid phone. It's really bad. I don't know why they got me a prepaid phone. Because they're all really sucky. They're all really bad. This is like an old phone, too. It's not even an, an, like a new generation phone. It's like one of those early 2000s phones. I don't know. I don't know what it is. So yeah, that's the update on my caterpillars. I hope you enjoyed. Um, I'll see you maybe later today or tomorrow when that um, swallowtail makes its chrysalis. So goodbye.